Welcome back. And in today's video, I have a boot review for you. I am not a boot expert. This is not my wheelhouse, but I am a carpenter. I've been in the trade since 2016 and I am on my feet and I do know what's comfortable and I do know what works for me. I've tried a lot of different boots and these have been the ones that have worked out the best for me so far. So without further ado, I wanna get into my Irish Setter boot review. So these are the Wing Shooter uh, Irish Setter brands. These are made by Red Wing. These are by far my favorite boots. They are the most comfortable. These are damn near like tennis shoes and a man who knows his tennis shoes. I can attest that these are very comfortable. I wear these five days a week, 40 hours plus. A lot of days I work, you know, 10 hours, 12 hours a day. And these have been by far the best shoes that I've worn. Um, overall, the comfort factor, the fact that they don't have to be broken in, you pretty much put them on right in your feet and they're ready to go. You don't have to go through the two weeks of agony of, you know, stretching your feet out. When you get off of work, you wanna hurry up and jump and throw some other tennis shoes on. You can wear these throughout the whole entire day. Uh, these are great. Now let's go over price point. Uh, these uh, wing shooters are about $200, about $199. If you go to Red Wings, they do give you a union discount if you are a union member, so I do appreciate that. And I try to support unions wherever I can, so if they support us uh, with a discount, I definitely give them my business. Overall, I think that's a great price point for 18 months of you know use. You gotta think, I wear these five days a week, 40 hours, you're talking about like multiple thousand hours of wear and tear on them, and then all the steps. Like I said, I get about 15,000 steps a day. So you can only imagine like 75,000 steps a week. You, these babies get demolished. And so I think they're a great quality. The tread is good. I don't expect to walk, you know, through a factory floor, industrial kitchen with these. Obviously they're not made for that, but for what they are made for, they are great quality and the comfort is bar none for me. I've tried Danner, Keen, Timberlands. I've tried a plethora of different boots and by far these have been the best ones. That's why I continue to keep buying these over and over again. This is gonna be like my third pair. Now these Irish setters are uh, waterproof, more like water resistant. These are leather, these are not rubber, these are not like uh, some kind of Gore-Tex material that can't breathe. They do breathe and so but with that being said, they are gonna get wet if you are under, you know, a torrential downpour in Oregon happens a lot and so whether you're when working on outside, um, working doing forms, doing concrete, you're gonna get soaking wet a lot of times. So these are great. I don't really think, I haven't had any boots that have been pure waterproof unless I'm wearing like, you know, uh, muck boots or something, your feet are gonna get soaked. And if they're not getting soaked from the rain, they're sweating like crazy. So either way, it's gonna be uncomfortable. That's the part of being in, in the construction field. So I don't look for my boots to be the holy grail of keeping my feet dry. That's just not something that happens in the, in the construction field, period. One thing I love about these boots is the stitching. It's a lot of good craftsmanship when it comes in these right here. Um, the sole can also be replaced and these have a six month warranty on them. So if anything was to happen before six months, you just turn them in, get a brand new pair. Um, and after that, you can get them resold again. So overall, good craftsmanship. And if you keep them uh, greased up, they tend not to crack. But the problem is being in construction, being a carpenter, we deal with rebar so often that you're gonna get abrasions on the side fairly often. You're gonna get the tip of your toe just busted out, whether it be, you know, kneeling on the ground a lot, uh, having material over your boot, doing cowboy cuts. Um, kneeling down on concrete that is not finished, that's more rough, like a rat slab. So it just really grinds away the, the, uh, the front of your boot. And once that goes, they definitely are waterproof after that, right? So that's the main thing to keep your boots to last longer is to, to protect the toe and that makes your boots last a lot longer. So that's why I do install the tough toe epoxy in the front. We'll get more into that at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how I apply that and how I do that myself. It's only about $37, so I think it's definitely worth it. Now let's go over the tough toe product. You can buy it a lot of boot, uh, wherever you buy your boots at. It's a great product because it's like a, an epoxy, like resin type material that can easily uh, form to the contours of your boot. I know there are some like paintbrush types, but I prefer this type because it seems it, it lasts a lot longer. Now let's go over the epoxy. Um, before you get started, you are going to sand the area where you're gonna want the epoxy at. You're gonna sand to make sure that 
the epoxy can actually combine to your boot material. It's gonna get a better hold that way. So you're not gonna have a lot of peeling. I've had times where I've tried to like half ass it where I kind of sanded it, but I didn't do a great job. It wasn't very thorough and the epoxy came off a lot faster. So the more thorough you are with the sanding, the better job you do, the longer it's gonna last you. And I think it's worth it to do the best job you possibly can when you have the opportunity. Next, you're gonna tape the area off where you want the epoxy to stop. So that way you have a you have a clear lines, it looks better, it's, it, uh, it makes a better bond. You don't want um, it to be thinner and thicker in other areas. It makes it a lot easier to work with. And so you're gonna do that on, on, obviously on both boots. And then I start on the front and I work my way down, kind of cascading it. I try, I try to make it an even flow and make sure that I get to all the seams. And then I put the epoxy actually on the seams itself and I work my way the right around. I do that on both boots and then I take the tape off as soon as I possibly can because you don't want that tape getting locked under the epoxy. That makes things a lot more difficult. And that's of course the whole process. It doesn't take that long. It's fairly uh, straightforward. It's pretty quick and it's easy to do. So if you don't have time to leave your boots at the shop, you can do it yourself. I prefer to do it myself, even though you know they don't come out as professional as they do it. I still enjoy the process. So if you like this video, if you like reviews like this from a carpenter, about things that I buy and uh, the products that I purchase. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys and thank you guys again for watching.